Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist. And in this video, I want to talk about the transition working on a squatting position when we're starting therapy after a total knee replacement. Your therapist might ask you to do a sit to stand. That's basically a squat, a squatting exercise. And so functionally, one of the ways that I like patients in my clinic to work on sit to stands at home is to initially have a kitchen sink in front of them because the kitchen sink is really stable. It has kind of a nice grip that you can hold on to. And as I sit into a chair, this allows me to kind of maintain my center of gravity. Too often what happens is a client might get about halfway and then kind of drop back, which is certainly a dangerous position. If it was a left total knee replacement, we might get into a stagger stance where the left foot is a little more forward if I don't have quite the knee flexion range of motion that I need. But the idea here is in order for me to get out of a chair, I need to get my center of gravity forward in advance of the, the base of support. So what I wanna do is I can be here, I can be here, I can have one up and one down. There's lots of different positions and there's pros and cons to each. But in the first four to six weeks, we wanna work on a basic sit to stand. Once you get to three months, we're at 12 weeks post-op, things are getting better, we've, we've overcome the acute recovery from the surgery. Now I'm working on what I call an unsupported sit to stand or a true squat exercise. So in the early stages, we're gonna come down, we're gonna sit, and we're gonna stand. The challenge with this as we advance is when we sit, kind of the musculature turns off. But when I do an unsupported squat, I'm gonna be here, I might go to the same level, but now my muscles are working harder than they normally would be working in this bottom squat position. Now, I tend to be a believer in a full depth squat, but after a knee replacement, obviously we might have some range of motion challenges that limit the depth of the squat. So at three months, what I try to encourage my clients to do is progress from a traditional sit in a chair and stand back up to a more unsupported sit to stand to eventually nothing in front of them being able to squat hips to about knee level and then come back up and so i can still use the same compensation so if my knee replacement um, doesn't have the range of motion that i would like it to have or to support a full depth squat i might put that foot in front i'm still sitting down and back I can come down into this partial squat, lunge, crouch position. Obviously my non-surgical knee is gonna take a lot more of the load and many patients will have osteoarthritis in both knees. Once they have their first knee replacement, their other knee needs to kind of compensate and make up for um, the recovery process. But my goal in this video today is really just to explain the difference between early phase recovery we're learning a sit to stand. Mid phase recovery, we're learning an unsupported squat with upper extremity support. End phase recovery, we're looking at full depth squat to your available range of motion. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll catch you on the next video.